the asset. Now, finally, uh, some words on innovation. Uh, well, I think uh, what has excited us uh, the, the most during the last month is something that just happened in the last week or so. DeepMind, which is owned by Alphabet or Google, um, uh, had a, a, an uh, artificial intelligence, deep learning neural network work breakthrough called AlphaFold. AlphaFold is being applied to the genomic space um, and is helping uh, researchers understand protein folding. Uh, protein folding and, uh, and just the structural shape of proteins are very important uh, in, in terms of drug discovery. And uh, uh, to give you a sense of what has just happened and how it's going to collapse the cost of a lot of research in healthcare, uh, and explode the knowledge base and the understanding of how the human genome works. It used to take, uh, uh, to, to discover uh, the, the structure of a protein and understand it, uh, it, it, has, it, it took anywhere from $100,000 to $1 million per uh, protein structure. Now, there, uh, we have, I think, we now understand the structure of something like 150 to 200,000 proteins, but there are roughly 170 million proteins uh, out there. And that includes in plants and animals as, as well as human beings. Because of this breakthrough, uh, because of DeepMind's breakthrough, we think that 100,000 to $1 million uh, per protein structure uh, is going to collapse to pennies. Uh, provocative, it's one of the most provocative uh, improvements we've ever seen in artificial intelligence. And uh, it, the accuracy of, um, of these uh, protein structures as determined by AlphaFold is more than 90%, uh, um, it's a 70% improvement from two years ago. We didn't think we would see this for another six years. Uh, so something has changed here. And uh, what we believe it is really brings the human being back into the equation in a very important way. So uh, as you know, uh, deep learning, that improvement took uh, most of the human programming out of the uh, deep learning equation or out of the artificial intelligence equation. Uh, human programmers cannot conceive all of the potential permutations of any of problem out there in terms of trying to solve it. But machines, when you throw huge amounts of data um, with iterative algorithms and huge amounts of computing power, machines can get to the right answer. Now, what, what I think we've learned from AlphaFold is the secret sauce in getting the machine there faster than the extra six years we expected was the domain expertise of the researchers, the biologists who were setting the goals or the reward system for the machines to reach. Uh, and so that domain expertise uh, has become the secret sauce. So importantly, while many people think that human beings are going to be dealt out of the, um, the equation, so to speak, uh, uh, that is not true. Uh, the, the winners in uh, many winner take most categories, and we think molecular diagnostic testing is one of those, as you know, uh, within Vitae leading the charge, we believe there. Um, there are going to be many, and they're going to have domain expertise uh, uh, really uh, uh, guiding the artificial intelligence to uh, the right goals. Uh, so, so that was very exciting. Uh, the other thing I think we have learned from earnings reports even this week is, are that um, the equivalent of over-the-air software updates. You've heard us talk about this when it comes to Tesla quite a bit. So Tesla is still the only uh, auto manufacturer 
I believe we maybe someone else is on the scene with it, but I haven't I haven't seen it, um, which can uh, can uh, anticipate an auto's problems and correct those problems with over the air software updates even before the owner of the vehicle understands there's a problem. Uh, I've mentioned to uh, on a, a number of these videos that I have not taken my Model 3 into the shop, or I guess that doesn't happen with Tesla. They, they come to the house, but uh, because nothing has gone wrong. The only thing that did go wrong, uh, which over the air software updates could, could not fix, was a nail in the tire, a flat tire. Uh, but other than that, uh, nothing. And, and, and I'm beginning to believe that, uh, that this idea of over the air software updates uh, is, is helping to anticipate problems and solve them before they occur. Um, two companies uh, this, this week uh, reported that reminded me that this could be a much broader concept applied to many more industries as we digitize the physical world. Um, PagerDuty, very few people know the name of that, that company. Uh, they're, they're an enabler in terms of digitizing um, uh, operations in business. And uh, it seems as though one of the reasons they are uh, experience a, experiencing a bit of a breakout now is that they too are anticipating problems that are going on in the digital operations of any company. They're, they're, they can, with artificial intelligence, um, uh, have a good idea of when a problem is evolving and that they can anticipate it and get in there and, and solve it or alert businesses ahead of time. So huge productivity increase and a little bit uh, off uh, that path, but there is some similarity to it is uh, DocuSign and uh, that company, as we, we all know, uh, the, uh, the electronic signature, the di digital signature, uh, they are now uh, they are now creating an agreement cloud. So before you sign an agreement, and after you sign agreement, there are procedures and processes, and uh, and there are checks and balances, uh, and there's confirmation. They want to be involved in in all of that so that they can do the same thing: anticipate issues before they arise, and be part of the solution. Um, so that's that's a little further out, uh, but I, it is a theme that is recurring. So we are on the lookout for those.